Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here. So uh, we're going to be doing the expedition, the Singularity expedition, as it has just come out. Um, you see, I've already tried it. Um, and there is one caveat to the expedition, just to give you a heads up right from the start. You can't complete it yet. You'll probably be able to complete it at some point during the weekend. As people start, to, there, there's one, let me explain. There's one particular milestone that requires the community to help. And everybody has got to contribute to it. Once they contribute to it and the milestone slowly increases, uh, it will open the rest of the, or I should say the final couple of quests or milestones at the very end. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. We'll go ahead and show you how this is done. And basically, I'm hoping to get this all done within two hours. The, there's been records done on this at like 39 minutes and stuff like that, the whole thing. Um, that was the original anomaly, uh, pardon me, the original expedition. The thing about this, and I'm going to go ahead and get started so we can talk while we're loading, um, is that there is less needed than we did on the original run through earlier in the year. I think that was around June, if I remember correctly, when it first came out. So um, we used to need 600 gamma root. We don't need that much anymore. Um, you would get like 100 automatically from the quest line, from the milestone completion. Now you get 200 from the milestone completion, and you only need 200 additional in order to make the lubricant that you need at one point. So things like that. Instead of 100 fecium, you only need 50. So there's a lot less needed to complete this expedition as I was going through it. And I tried to take some notes. Uh, I'm going to mention things that you want to hang on to that you shouldn't delete or say or sell. You will need money at the very beginning. So it's probably a good idea to pick up a couple of like buried technologies and things like that. You do still need, instead of six or seven, you only need three crystal sulfides this time. So things like that, instead of uh, like 400 ionized cobalt, you need about 175. So you need a lot less. It'll be a lot less to complete. Plus the starting planet is nothing, nothing at all like the original starting planet from six months ago. Now we're on a cold world and it is dissonant as well. Or dissonant, I should say. I'm always saying it wrong. So here we go. We're going to start in this usual spot. And you know, this particular starting spot when it was in June, I would say, ah, oh, forget it, I can't do it here, we're not going to get... I'm not worried about speedrunning at this point. I'm just going to show you how to do the expedition. Now, again, because it's a cold world, look at the temperature, bottom left, negative 66. It is cold. <laughs> it looks like it's starting me inside the tent. Possibly right behind it, it's hard to say. But it's a cold world, and you need to get your <clears throat> hazard protection up to snuff. Now, you can go look around for sodium if you wish. There's a quicker way to get yourself help if you will so let's go ahead and clear that screen you're gonna see at the bottom left you're already halfway down remember the square canister on the right jump inside there you go see just give it a few seconds let your let your temperature stabilize and get all the way up to maximum now at night it's gonna be cold but during the day usually it's not as bad and you're usually okay okay you can get out now I do recommend unlocking the tool over there. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. This tool is handy and you won't need the, uh, let's see. So we got one, I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. One, six and 12. There we go. Let's do this real fast because you won't need it with the weapon, pardon me, the weapon with the mining beam that's on here, you can literally take out any, um, sentinel so you don't need to load up weapons and wait until you get there not bad though it's an a class i'm getting at this particular terminal i'm going to go ahead and take it um we're not going to exchange it because i need to move over the uh terrain manipulator and we won't be able to use the terrain manipulator until such time so we're just going to go ahead and leave it as is right now you start out with so much on this one now uh so this is the airburst engine yes i'm gonna go ahead and put that there this has a little bit of a boost to it it's not great but i'm just gonna put my jet pack in there you got another one over here there we go and you got your shields i'm gonna move the shields down here because you're gonna be stacking them up like uh you know hotcakes later on 
Uh, you don't really need this. You can use it if you get a good spot that you that you really, really liked. Starship we'll get to later because we're going to be working our way over there. Uh, you notice we have two supercharged slots. So I'm going to move my hijack laser down here. I got a bolt caster on this one, which I'm not going to really need. Scanner I'm going to move over. We'll leave this in here. It gives me a better scanner range, as you can see, the analysis visor. Let me see. Oh, not that one. Hold on. There we go. See? 339. That's what we wanted. Um, let's just move you out of the way. You don't get any boosts anyway. So now we have a decent multi-tool. Gather up supplies while you're here. Let's go ahead and grab some stuff. You'll get, you know, void modes and things like that. You're also going to get an upgrade that will allow you to get radiant shards. I'm just going to get all the harmonic scrap. And you see your temperature really isn't dropping that quickly. So what do we got? Use this. You'll, you'll be using that later. You got an expansion unit. That's great. We don't need that. You can sell this, 20000 you're going to get for it. The void moats you're never going to use, you might as well sell them too. That's going to be money in your pocket, my friends. All right, so we're going to start by going here. And it's the same thing. Attempt the memory repair. You don't know what it is, so go to number two. And you get your numbers. And we're going to write those down real quick. I didn't write them down earlier. So the first one is 11. The second one is going to be 1, obviously, and the third one is 6. They can be put in whatever order you wish. So we'll go and repair now. So I'm going to 1, and I'm going to do 6, and then we're going to do 11. See? doesn't have to be in the same order. Dump the memory contents. We're going to get the storyline. Cross from the dirt, construct, pure will, finalize the download, and you get a dump that gives you navigation coordinates. All right, you get your first milestone completed. So let's go ahead and collect it. And you'll notice you get hermetic seal plans and a crystallized heart. Do not get rid of the crystallized heart. Hang on to that. You're going to need it. So let's put that someplace safe. I'll put it down here. I don't think there's any... Oh, there is more inventory space down there. Okay, we'll have to remember that for later. All right, so we don't have anything else. You'll notice that we do have this. We have our personal refiner. We're going to be using that. We're going to need some carbon. So let's get to our ferrite dust. We're going to need that. We've got to build some things. And this thing will work great for doing what we need it to do. If you want to try to get the animals, because you could use some early nanites, you really don't need a whole lot. But there, see, there's eight animals on this planet, and it's hard to find all of them, I'll be honest with you. I don't even know if there's any flying ones, to be clear. I never found all of them. But if you want to do that, that's up to you. Uh, Atlantidium, you need a lot of. You used to have to need uh, uh, 256 of it. You only need 64 now. Oh, look, we got some condensed carbon up there. Awesome. We can't get the radiant shards yet, but you can't get the ones that they're living fragments. And these will give you a lot more Atlantidium. So go ahead and just grab them. We already got 35. And we already got, see, we already got it. So go ahead and get the Living Void early on if you can. So we're going to go ahead and collect that. Let's see what we get out of it. We get a prepackaged cloaking device, biohazard, and quad servo. Do not get rid of that quad servo. You will need it later. This, you're not really going to need. Just uninstall it. It gives you a wiring loom. But we can use this. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Uh, so we're going to put this over here for safekeeping. You need a lot more Atlanta DM, so keep gathering as much as you can. As we come across the bigger ones, we'll go ahead and grab it up. And you see the temperature, it's becoming daytime, so temperatures are stabilizing, so you don't have to worry as much. Alright, if you gather enough ferrite dust and stuff like that, you'll be able to start building things in your uh, suit and everywhere else, in your multi-tool especially. I'm going to go ahead and grab as much ferrite dust for now. You don't need a whole lot, but you will need enough to make some magnetized ferrite. You need about 300 magnetized ferrite. Alright, let's get some of this condensed carbon. I was thinking about doing this live, but... We're going to be doing a live stream probably on Saturday night, so I figured, hey, you know, this will be fine. But you'll see this later on, after I've already recorded it. All right, where's my ship at? My ship's that way. We're going to slowly make our way in that direction. So let's see what we can build real quick. All right, I got a good amount of ferrite now. 
So this laser works a lot better if you can get your mining beam as well. So go ahead and put that in there. It'll work even better. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and uninstall the bolt caster. I really don't need it. Over time, you can start opening these up. Like, I can open that up right now with Atlantidium. Um, inverted mirrors, crystallized hearts. You'll have a hard time getting all that. But Atlantidium, you can open up. Atlantidium. Uh, yep, I'll be able to open up that one later, too. So let's just keep going. Regular carbon you can use. So go ahead and grab it as you can. There we go. All right. Don't worry about hurting yourself too much. Um, you can grab these two if you wish. They are worth money. But you're going to attract some attention. As you know. Your, your weapon is not quite powerful enough. Just let the timer run down to zero before you collect anything else. And you'll be fine. Hopefully someone doesn't pop up in front of you. One, zero, and boom. See? Now you're done. And we'll grab that. These are all Radiant Shards. Let me see. Do we have any other Expedition Rewards yet? Not yet. Because one of these... Uh, teleport Receiver... First Construct gives us an Advanced Mining Laser. So once we get that, we'll be able to gather up Radiant Shards. But gather up the... The Atlanta DM as much as you can, like I said. Is that a plant that I can get? I don't know. No, it's ferrite. These are plants. Ooh, they give us a lot of carbon, too. We need a good amount of dihydrogen. Get yourself the dihydrogen. You're going to have to do... Now, did I write it down? Hold on. I think I did. Dihydrogen. D-I-H. Oh, it's over here. I'm on the wrong screen. You need about 300 of it. You do need oxygen, so you might as well grab it. I always grab it the old-fashioned way. I just grab their uh, little uh, nodules, the gassy pods on the sides. Let them blow up. Okay, get a little closer. And then kind of grab the, the gassy pods. And then you can go ahead and take them out, and they go quickly. And you get yourself 85 out of them by, by doing it that way. Oh, more carbon. Excellent, excellent. I could really use that. Let's get some ferrite. You'll be able to buy some ferrite later on, so you don't have to go crazy getting too, too much of it. And you'll be able to get, as well, uh, a, what do you call it, a magnetized and pure ferrite at some locations as, you know, as you go along. Another animal. I'll grab it. I'm up to three, and as you can see, there's literally not too many red dots anywhere, aren't there? And I keep look checking the air to see if there's anything flying around, and I haven't seen anything yet. So, anyway... There we go. A little more carbon. And the ship's pretty far away, so... Not a close run to get to the ship. You know what we could be doing? We could be looking for... Any kind of buried things as we go. So maybe we should do that. Alright. I think it's time. I don't know if we can install it yet. Yeah, we can install this. We need a dihydrogen jelly. It would be better to just pull it out of our other multi-tool, but we'd have to power it. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into the multi-tool. We'll uninstall it. There we go. While well, we're here. All right, up to 120. I need quite a bit more of that if we can get it. While that is here, I'm going to go ahead and get this going. I don't know why the wiring loom. I didn't. wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to get the rusted metal to get a little more ferrite. All right, good deal. Uh, let's see. I guess let's move on. Um, we've got to switch out to the other multi-tool real fast. And we'll install this back in here. And we'll stick it in a spot where we don't need it. And the only thing we have to, to do with it is the ferrite dust. So I'm going to use some sparingly with it. Um, that could give us a good amount of uh, money, possibly. Let's see what we got out of it. Yep, 25,000. I'll take it. There we go. Get a couple more things. Let's take another look. Oh, what I'd like to find, because our ship is right there, is I'd like to find some buried technology. Get natural burial sites? Oh, what do you know? There's something over there. Is that flying? 
There's that animal. And it disappeared. Okay, well, it's gone. Hey, another animal. Hey, it was a flying animal. Okay, I'm up to five. I'd love to find the last three and get a little nanite boost, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, there's literally nothing else to get out of the ground here, so if you do want to get buried technology, you can do that. It's pretty far away. Another buried mineral for formation. Let's go ahead and grab this. Maybe we'll get something get something lucky out of it. Let's see what we got. Aronium. That's also working with about 25, isn't it? Yes, okay. There we go. Up oh, more dihydrogen. I'll go ahead and grab it while I'm here. I will not be likely to do a speed run with this particular one. I can't get those. Okay. But I'll at least show you how this is this is done, I guess. All right. I think we got a good amount of parts out of this. Let me see what we're up to. Uh, 222. We're almost there. Do a little scan. More dihydrogen straight in front of me. We'll go ahead and grab it. And this thing will never overheat on you. That's the best part about having that mining laser attached. You will run out. It, it, it will run out of stuff uh, eventually, of fuel. But that's okay. If you've got enough chromatic, not chromatic, if you've got enough uh, condensed carbon on you, you should be fine. I'm gathering more of this stuff up because I am going to need some more of it later on. Eh, I'll grab. That's enough. You're going to get some dioxide later to refuel your uh, self, if you will. And, well, okay. Is that another flying creature that I'm never going to see, apparently, as it flies away? Check this direction. Yeah, and it's probably already gone by now. Alright. Well, it's worth a shot. That would have given us our sixth or seventh one, so... Alright, looks like we got another Gravitino Ball. I'm going to go ahead and just take the Oxygen Plant. There we go. And run on. Are they really that close? Oh, he is pretty close. I'm going to go over here. We need Cobalt. You do need cobalt. I'm going to keep heading in this direction because there should be some buried tech over here. Two, one, zero, and gone. There we go. <clears throat> there it is right there. We can do it the old-fashioned way if you like. And just go in first-person view and you should be able to grab it. There we go. No, no, uh, no digging required. And that'll give us a good amount of money to start with. Okay. There we go. A little extra nanites out of it, too. Let's get rid of some of this stuff from around the barrel over here. Because we can always use some of the things out of here. There we go. Condensed carbon. Excellent. Alright, our ship should be... Did we pass it? We did. Right here. All right, we got, uh, well, that's interesting. We got, uh, eggs here, too. Hmm. I, is it depleted? Yes, okay. I get both? I got both. Okay. do do I'll just upset him, I'm sure. <laughs> there we go. That should be plenty. We should have enough money now. <laughs> you missed me. Alright, let's go up and camp out up here for a moment. While we make things for our ship. We need a hermetic seal. We need a metal plate. 
Uh, what do you need? Pure, pure ferrite. We're going to need some pure ferrite. I thought I'd have more ferrite than that, but that's okay. Let's get some pure going. I need about 50 of that. I'll let the rest go while it's churning away. There we go. Pretty good timing there. Huh? All right. Oh, we just go to straight to the starship if it's close enough. Yes, it is. We need a dihydrogen jelly, right? Of course. That's what I was forgetting. Should have it. Uh, let's make one in here. There we go. And we're done. It's repaired. And while we're in here, let's uh, let's move some stuff around. Uh, let's put you over here, I guess. Uh, that's interesting that it's actually charging up. Uh, shield we'll put over here. You know what? That would probably really boost. Yeah, that's nice. I think I'm going to keep that there. All right, and we're going to move you down here. We're going to put you over here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put you over here so I can actually add some upgrades to you. All right, that's good. I'm not sure if we're going to be using that. All right, uh, anything we need to do in our multi-tool? Um, we do need radiant shards, but we'll get them later. It's okay, because every planet you can land on is going to be dissident, so don't worry about that. Um, you don't need as much chromatic metal as I thought you might. I don't know if we need any, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not remembering if I even used any in my last run, but I guess we'll see what happens. All right, everybody's gone to sleep here. I guess we can get out of here. Off to the ship. So the only thing we have left, we haven't, do we have enough dihydrogen yet? I already made one more. I'd like to get a little bit more dihydrogen. We got this, that's 156,000. No, we did get a little chromatic metal, didn't we? Oh, look at that, 600,000. I think we're good there. What do you think? All right. Do we have any dihydrogen floating around? Looks like there's a little bit over here. Let's go ahead and grab it while we're here. Because that's the only thing left we need. Ah, good. Having a little extra is not going to hurt any, so I'll just go ahead and grab it. Same thing with the carbon. And again, we're going to get plenty of ferrite later on, so I'm not too, too worried about it. All right, that should be good. There we go. Yeah, I think we got plenty now. What do you think? <laughs> All right, off to the ship. And on board we go. All right. I don't like this view, but I like to be able to switch back and forth on occasion. All right, so let's check our things here. So um, we need to go launch into space first. So let's go ahead and do that. We're in space. Okay, let's let the achievement come in. And we're going to go ahead and grab the reward. And we're going to go ahead and select the third one. It's already selected. We need to do a scan, and it will show us where we're going, which is right there. The planet we came from doesn't, I don't think it has any water on it, but we're, we're going to be able to get uh, the crystal sulfides pretty easily. Now, you could go to the space station. If I'm not mistaken, the space station, I don't know if I've been to it or not. I don't know if it has anything on it that we could really use. But you get stuff at other space stations, so it's not really a problem. You do have to go to at least one space station to check things out. I might hit the space station here and we'll see what it has. That way you'll know. You'll know whether you need to go or not. Or whether it's worth your time. Um, look for the communication buoys. Because a lot of times they lead to where you're going. This, by the way, is a very interesting um, development. There's a landing platform near the archive that you need to land at. Um, if you're looking to gather up items, like, for instance, Gamma Root. And it's doing this again. I've just landed under the platform. This is going to be a problem later on. So, that's going to be an issue later on. Yeah, I know. It's hot. Okay, we're up. So, the first thing we want to do, because things are going to start landing, we need money. But while we're here, let's just go ahead and sell this stuff. There's our salvage data, the void moats. Uh, we're going to get rid of the tainted metal. Hang on to that quad servo. Don't get rid of it. Gravitino balls, the lemium, the uranium, the larval cores. Okay. And while we're here, let's buy one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we don't need hermetic seals. We can 
get a couple of those just in case you need them. Um, I think we need microprocessors, but I don't know. Here's magnetized ferrite. We'll need more, but that's a start. Go ahead and grab it. Go ahead and grab it. Okay. Okay, that's it. You need 50 fecium and you need about 200 gamma root. All right, so we got our blueprint. Head out and look for ships that have landed. But see, it's kind of hard because you got that landing platform nearby, so not many ships land over here, as you can see. That looks like we got one coming in. And he's going to land over there. Let me just check down here real quick. No one's landed over there. So we'll head towards this guy. He will always appear on the left side of the ship. He calls me out to be a liar. Last couple times he was on the left side of the ship. All right, so here's our fecium. We don't need 150, folks. Uh, it's up to you if you want to count it out or just purchase it all for the sake of just being good. I'm going to grab a little tritium, too, in case I don't get what I need later on. That's it. All right. Let's check the other platforms, see if anyone else has landed. No one else has landed. So what I would recommend is going to that landing platform. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get my ship out of here by calling it to me. By the way, while we're here, that's by the elusive creatures I couldn't find on the other planet, right? Yeah, look at you. All right, here we go. We're going to go all the way down there. Watch your boosters. There we go. Let's see if this guy has anything we can use. They will carry the same things as they did at the archive. There it is, gamma root. I only need 20 more gamma root and we're done. So that way you won't have to harvest any or put in hazmat gauntlets on your person. And while we're here, you can check in here and it protects you. There's a little more ferrite dust. Uh, let's see. Unstable plasma is up to you. Chromatic metal. I'm going to grab it anyway. And the dioxide. As well as ionized cobalt. Excellent. That's really good because that allows me to get exactly what I need. Because you need about... How much did I say? Uh, ionized cobalt. About 175. So we're almost there then. That's not bad. We only need a little bit more. We'll go ahead and put it in here. And that should get us what we need. Excellent. All right. Anybody land since I've been there? There's one right now. We just need 20 more gamma root. If you're fortunate, if somebody... The maximum they'll carry is 200. If you're fortunate, you'll find somebody with 200. Yep, he doesn't have it. So, so now it's going to become a little bit more tougher. Oink. I think somebody just landed up there. Oh, one of those sweep wings. I like those. I'm going to get an exo... One of the... Uh, that's not an exotic. Oh, he's a talker, is he? Yeah, he doesn't have what we need. Okay. Just take a, check a look at it. It's nice. It's a nice ship, but... Nah, of course not. It's not why we're here. Like I already took off. No, it's not. It's going back up. Nice try. All right. So while we're here, let's go ahead and collect our next one, which is the construction head. So we need four metal plates, which we have, an ion battery, and a microprocessor. So good thing we stopped here because we need a microprocessor. I thought we needed one. I couldn't remember. Do we have one in here? We do. Okay. Now we can build it. I like to build them in the starship, but the starship's nowhere near us. I do want to call it in. Uh, where is it here? Let me see where I can call it in at. That looks like a good spot.
Okay, so we got it here. Alright, let's kit this guy up and see what he's got. Maybe we'll get fortunate and he'll have the 20 left that I need. Really don't want to have to land on that planet and get just 20 or 18 Gamma Root. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. Now, the funny thing is, in my first run through of this, um, people were, ships were landing here like crazy. And not landing at the archives. And I'm beginning to think it's reversed now and that they're landing at the archives. See? It's almost like they want to land where you're not. Good news is, is while you wait, you could gather up more materials. Let's go ahead and put some stuff in here. You'll see you get some decent upgrades up here. Um, did we not make it? I thought we did. We had to be a little closer to our ship, I suppose. Plus, I'll put the teleport receiver in here. We'll put that... I'll put it there. Okay, we can now make this. So we got our construct. Okay, let's get our achievement. There we go. And now we got our advanced mining laser, which we'll use at our next planet. So we'll put this in. I'm going to put this in. This just gives us a little bit of a scanning boost. And that should do it. I'm going to put you guys down here. This goes my ship. In the ship, in the ship. We're going to put a lot of stuff in the ship right now. There we go. Keep these on me, just in case. Okay. Multi-tool, do we need to put that in there? Yeah, we can. Alright, any ships? Hey, we've got a couple ships up here. Let's check this guy first. Uh, he had Fesium, but that doesn't help us. Now, this planet also has something else. Hey, look at that. He's got it. That should do it. Let's check. That should be 200. Yes, it is. That's all we need. We're done. This has uh, storm crystals. So if you want to go ahead and get storm... Whoa. We want to get inside before we die. There's storm crystals pretty close by usually. There's one right there. It's a good idea to grab a couple. They're actually worth quite a bit. And you don't really need them for anything. That's the best part. Am I all the way back up? I am. And because it's a hot storm... There we go. I'll grab one. And there's one over there. I'm going to go ahead and just grab one more. Or a few more. If there's a few there, that would be kind of nice. Had to do that. Yeah, there's a few there. Okay. At least two, it looks like. There we go. Hey, cut that out. You know why I'm after. Yes, you can see me doing this. There we go. Okay, we're on our way. And if we want... There we go. Shall we go ahead and head for our ship? I think we're just about done. Okay. So we're good here. So we should have enough resources to get out of here. Um, we have everything we need to make the lubricant. We got an extra battery here in case we need it. We'll get more later on. Put some more supplies down here. Actually, we're going to put that in the ship and that goes in the ship. We'll need a lot more of this, but we'll keep going as we as we go. Oxygen, I'm going to put that with my dioxide. We'll keep these over here. Looks like we got plenty of that right now. I'll put more. There we go. Okay. Did I just put it in my starship? I think I did, didn't I? I think I did the wrong one. Yes, I did. I meant to do more ionized cobalt, and I did the wrong one. That is hilarious. Okay, I'll put more in there. 
All right, let's build that up. So we get, again, we need about 175 of it. This will give us 105. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so we're good. Ready to go. So our next thing is it tells us to go to the Atlas. We're going to hold off on that for now. We're just going to complete the pilgrimage. We're going to come back do the Atlas missions later. Let's just get out of here. Now we do have a warp hyper core in our inventory, but I told you earlier I was going to hit the space station, right? So let's go ahead and hit the space station. We'll see if it has anything worth our time. Like, maybe, I don't know, a hyperdrive upgrade? That would be nice. So we're going to go all the way there and check it out. There's a long way to this station. I kind of wish I would have hit it first before I went to the uh, rendezvous, but that's okay. Again, I'm not in a rush. We're about 30 minutes in. You guys, knowing in advance what you need to do, will be able to complete this a lot quicker than I would. Or get further along a lot quicker than I am. Okay, and there's the starting music as they always do the first time you enter a space station. And you know, one of the benefits of entering the space station is that you can upgrade your exosuit and add some slots in. They're going to give you so much stuff to put in your exosuit that you are going to run out of space. And you're going to have to decide what you're keeping and what's going unless you upgrade it. They give you upgrades, so if you ever want to stop at one of these terminals, you can add all the upgrades in. So you see it's flashing down here. I'm going to put it over here because I really need to. And I have one more available to me. You see it just automatically. You can click on it one more time. And I'm going to put it right here. All right. Now, you can hold off on those upgrades. I don't think I have any. I've got 345 nanites. So I don't have enough nanites to really do anything with. So we'll see what he's got. But I'm, no, I'm not very hopeful that he'll have anything that I can use. Or I can buy. Yep, see? He does have a hyperdrive module 615. But there's literally nothing I can do or sell to, to get more nanites. Nothing I can do. Yeah, I could have taken some of those. Yeah, the whispering eggs. I know you're thinking the same thing. Ah, if you'd taken the whispering eggs and put them in there, you could have gotten runaway mold and nanites from them. Oh, yeah, you're right. That would have been handy. So you know that that's something you can do. Grab the runaway mold and you could turn it into nanites. So there you are. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? I don't think I have anything I can uninstall. Like this, I could, but it's not going to give me any nanites or anything like that. I'll get 16 for it, for instance, if I do this. It's only worth, like, 16 nanites. See? So, I'll put them back for now. Okay. So, now you know. We can check the terminals. Let's check the terminals over here. So, you know there's an S-Class hyperdrive upgrade there if you want to grab it. Get it when you leave the planet rather than going to the rendezvous first. You got plenty of ferrite dust. Go ahead and pull it in. Um, let's see. I don't think I need any of those. Like I said, I grabbed copper and I never used it. And the same thing with salt. I have written down that I'm supposed to get 200 salt on my original run. And I don't know why because I never used it. But you know what? I'm going to take a chance that maybe I was onto something. And maybe towards the end... Maybe towards the end we need it? I don't know. So, let me put that in my ship. Okay. Alright. I guess that will do it for now. We got we still got plenty of money, as you can see. So, let's head out. Let's check the other terminal across the way. So, you do know that you can get 500 ferrite from here. And you can use it. Pretty ship. Kind of reminds me of the Golden Vector. Just a little bit. All right, what do we got? Cobalt. Same stuff, including hydraulic wiring. We do need two of those, so go ahead and grab two while you're here if you come to the station. And here's your uranium, so that actually makes it worthwhile to get the uranium as well. Excellent. Okay, then I've got enough to get by. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a mag uh, magnetic resonator or one of those little... Uh, I can't think of the name of it now. I think that's what it's called. 
That's another item that you're going to need. Get in the ship. Thank you. All right, let's hyperdrive our way out of here. Neat thing you can do while you're in the station, you can hit hyperdrive right here. We haven't even exited the station, and we can already hit it. So there's our mission. Uh, we're going to go to that place there. There we go. Any second. There we go. I think I've already checked this space station and it didn't have anything I could use. So I'm just going to go ahead straight back into hyperspace and we're going to go on to the first location here. Right there. And you notice it says dissonant. So we can get our radiant shards here. And in the past you used to have to get... Oh, I'm trying to remember if the first expedition, I think you had to get 12, 10 or 12 of them. You only have to get three now. Only three. And you remember I had to defeat like about 15 or 10, 10, 12, 15 uh, uh, of the uh, Sentinels, the Corrupted Sentinels? Well, you don't have to do that anymore either. Um, I don't remember this space station very well. Let's go ahead and hit it anyway. I'll take a look. I want to get an upgrade for my exosuit this time. If I do a speed run, um, I won't obviously need these. I'm going to make do without, and I'll probably sell the upgrades as I get them. So I can make a little extra money. You don't need to buy a whole heck of a lot in this anymore, so it is what it is. Landing, 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 landing. And I'm out of the ship. Let's go back up here. You'll see what they have in their inventory. And then we could come back, you know, if we know that we need more nanites or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I've already got this kind of filled in, so I'm going to start filling in down here. I'm going to get this spot here because it annoys me. Um, you'll see what kind of upgrades he has. Um, underwater and movement. He has movement modules. But I'll be honest, I wouldn't even bother with any of those because... You're going to get plenty of upgrades for your jets. So, you know, for your booster pack. Infernai, phase beam, pulse engine. Yeah, not a whole lot here you can do anything with. Okay. And what do we need? We needed the magnetic. You know, and I'm going to remember it as soon as I see it. Like, yeah, that's right. That's what the name of it was. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't see it in here. We got more uranium. We got more chromatic metal. I'm going to grab the chromatic metal for now. I just keep thinking I need it for some reason. I don't know why. We got the money, so let's just buy it. Okay. We don't need quantum computers. I'll grab a little more ferrite just because it's cheap. All right, we're done. All right, we'll check the other terminal over here and just see what it has real quick. There's a traveler there if you care. Not that I do. Uh, let's see, hermetic seal, dioxide, and uranium. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Oh, magnetized ferrite. Looks at, look at that. Could have grabbed it all right here in the first system. So I didn't need to grab any if I didn't want to. All right, let's get out of here. On our way. Boom. And the planets don't seem to be the same. I'll be honest. All these rendezvous, they don't seem to be the same at all. I don't think the systems are named the same thing. Alright, let's go ahead and recharge stuff. Pulse engine, we can now use... We have plenty of tritium, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I need pyrite. We'll come across pyrite at one of these systems. What else we got? Hyperdrive is okay. Launch thrusters, we're going to go ahead and put the uranium in and get it fully maxed out here. Multi-tool, we we're okay here. Yeah, let's not worry about it. Back over here. Yep, we're okay. You can do those things if you want to, but, you know, exit your pulse drive and check out those ships, but this, it's not really necessary. All right, so for this one, this is what we call our rendezvous one or campsite one. It should be, I have some notes written down, it's about 1,300 units beyond the estimate. 
and it's to the right of a mountain and on the other side of a lake as well, or a big hole in the ground, I should say, not a lake. So while it tells you that it's here, it's not. So you want to go beyond this rendezvous and just keep going. I think it's over here. Yeah, to the right of that and right over here. So this is it right here. Yeah, it looks like somebody had, uh, what? Okay, yeah. Political statements. Yay. Just what we need. Oh, would you let your butt down on the ground? Thank you. Me, 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 me. Radiant shard. Grab it. Miles, well grab them while you're here. This is a pretty decent planet to grab them from. And we're at the first pilgrimage. So, if you want to grab these harmonic scraps, you can. Sometimes you get decent stuff out of them. I'm just going to ignore them for now. And we don't need to grab another multi-tool, so we'll stay out of this. you got to feed it lost circuits. That's why you need the Atlantidium. Actually, I think on this planet you don't get anything. You just get a... That's all you get out of this. So, that's all you had to do here. You don't get any parts to anything or anything like that. So, we're going to collect our reward... Expansion units, multi-tool expansion units, and storage augmentation for your ship. So let's take a look at that real quick. So here's your paralysis mortar, if you want it. I'm going to stick it in here for now, but I never used it. So I'm going to go ahead and uninstall it. I don't see any reason to use it, and I get some stuff out of it. That's it. Sorry. Put that in my ship. Put that in my ship. And it looks like we got plenty of pure ferrite still. And there's our magnetized ferrite. I'm going to put the magnetized ferrite over here so I know where it's found. These we need. Okay. Collect as much of those as you can get your fingers on. Okay. So our next item is usually go to commune with the Atlas. We're going to ignore that. We're going to go to the second pilgrimage. But while we're here, we want to get some radiant shards. We can go ahead and scan these creatures too if we want. But here's the thing. We've, we're going to get more nanites as we go, automatically. So we don't have to do it. Uh, looks like we've got Gravitino, of course. Uh, radiant Shards, Radiant Shards. There's one over there, 425. One up here, 224. Let's go to that one. And as we get our upgrades, we'll get more stuff as we go. And you know, as a Predator, right there, he doesn't attack. So, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Does that scene right there not look interesting? The little mountain with the planet above it in the background? Reminds me a little something. Don't not sure what it is. Something about light, no fire maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing things. Seeing what I want to see. There's another radiant shard. Alright, and there should be... There's another one right there, which I think... Can't quite reach it from here. There's a few over there. It's good to have extras of them because uh, your multi-tool requires them as well in order to um, get some of those broken spots cleaned up. So I'm going to head towards them right now. Hey, how you doing? Had a weird looking jaw, didn't he? Alright, looks like there's two of them right here. One... Two. There's a third one. Another one. Good. A little bit more of Atlantidium. Because we could use some of that. I'm going to hit the other one over there. Because it's not so much the Radiant Shards that I'm looking for. It's the ones that are the bigger ones that have the Atlantidium. Because you get a lot more from them when they're that big. Yeah, there's a Radiant Shard there. Atlantidium. Perfect. Another one over here. Good. And a radiant shard just because. Alright, we'll grab some more. Alright, so what do we get for the uh, radiant shards? Uh, optical drill. Mining beam upgrade. Excellent. That's actually going to be very handy. Let's go ahead and put this up here. See what I mean about the shielding? It's unbelievable. They just keep getting more and more and more. All right. And... Was that it? I think that was it. Oh, here it is. Optical drill. So, yeah. Look at that. So that's pretty powerful right now. You don't realize how powerful it is until you 
you upset some of the uh, Sentinel guys. Which we're gonna about to do. I don't really need a Gravitino ball, but I'm going to grab one anyway. And I'll show you. Uh, there's one right over there. Ow. Okay, where is he? Let's see what happens. Look at how fast they drop. One. Two. And three. We just got three right there. And we need five all total. So I used to wait to the end of the game, especially on the speed runs, to go ahead and get them. Now I don't bother. Let me grab some more sodium. I think we need sodium. Oh, hi, guys. There we go. That should be six. So, they're going to multiply. Face this direction. Watch. They will always appear that direction. Now, you can take that guy on if you want, but his little guys are going to really hurt. Getting an extra crystallized heart is not a bad thing. And these guys give you... Atlantidium as well. So look at that. I just took out a walker that was being repaired by two different of these guys. Alright. But you know what? Now I've really upset them. So we want to head back and hide. Because otherwise we're going to get overwhelmed. Let's just let the, let the swarm appear. See? I don't like those little guys. They upset me. We have an extra crystallized heart to repair one of the spots on our uh, multi-tool. Crap. Reset the counter by breaking that. We have 43 seconds to spend away from them. So this is the tough part. See, and they're already up there. So they're quick. 17, 16, 15. Oof. It's going to be tough. There it is. As long as it doesn't see me, we're all right. Got it. All right, we're in good shape. Okay, so what we can do, we have that extra heart. For this, we're going to go ahead and fix this so I can make a little room in this gun. I have one crystallized heart I can put somewhere. And that's it. So I'm going to put it right, I think, over there. I can open up a couple of these spots. I can open up this one because i got plenty. And inverted mirror Atlantidium. That's just an empty spot. I'll go ahead and grab it. Crystallized Heart or Crystallized Heart. Which one should I get? I think I'm going to do this one. I'll get an inverted mirror maybe at some point, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and put one here. There we go. And now we have an extra spot open. So that should be good. And still leaves me with one Crystallized Heart, I believe, right? Yep, there it is. And we have how much? 1,800 Lantidium. I guess we're good for now, right? I don't really need the projectiles. And we really don't need the Gravitino ball, but we'll hang on to it for now. All right, put this in my ship. I'm going to put this in the ship, too, and we're going to put those in the ship. In case we need them later on. Okay, good. Looks like we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and continue on. Again, you don't have to spend your time doing all that, but I decided I wanted to. And what does that give us? Life support upgrade, severe, supreme defense systems. Now that I've opened up some spots, as you can see... This is what we get. 
So and that's going to give me core health strength as well. So you see we're filling that thing up up there. Look at that. It just keeps filling up more and more and more. I'm running out of room. And I think that's my signal to leave. Excellent. Let's get out of here. All right. Off we go. The Rendezvous 3. Now, we're almost an hour in, but you guys will probably be able to complete most of that in about a half hour. All right. Where to? So, it looks like we need to go to that place, but we've gotten to... We've jumped how many times? I think we jumped four times, so I think this is going to be our battle. And we're not going to fight anything. How, pray tell, are we going to get out of the fight? It's something we learned a long time ago. I don't see any ships showing up, so... Nope, no battle. It'll probably be the next jump. And we're going to just immediately jump one more time. I think we have enough juice in the jumper. Yeah, we do. Dissident system, a dissonant system, as you can see. And we'll check out the space station in this system and see what it's got. So that you're aware of what it has. So let's see, what else we need? We need those magnetic units. Uh, we got the fecium, got the magne magnetized ferrite, dihydrogen, quad servo in the heart. I think we got pretty much everything we need. The ionized cobalt, we're all set there. Okay. And there's our pilgrimage spot. We'll go ahead and hit the space station first, and we'll check it out. It won't let you boost to it because you're just just close enough that you can't. Boink. And as you can see, we've got those upgrades that we were talking about, right? These in here, you can sell them because they're worth quite a bit, as you can see, or you can actually use them. Not my favorite of solar ships. I don't like the square sails as much. Uh, we're going to upgrade. We're going to use the apply augmentation. Now, where do we want to put this? We do get upgrades for our ship eventually. But I'm going to fill out some of these empty spots in here that are annoying the ever-living daylights out of me. Here. There. Okay, good. That's a good starting point. We want three upgrades for that. We're going to have this... Uh, let's see. I need to get some upgrades over here. And we've got the one that we purchased. And we're going to get one and one. And we're going to, uh, let me see. Yeah, let's go down here and fill in this gap. Okay, good. That'll be good. Let's see what, what kind of upgrades he has for ships. Yep, let's stop talking. Launch thrusters. Yeah, he doesn't have anything really that can is useful to us. And we're going to go ahead and do this anyway. And I'm going to fill in the gaps that are in there. I didn't fill them in quite the way I wanted to. We'll get another upgrade, but this will, once we, especially once we get that spot, we'll be in really good shape. Okay, good. This is this on our way. So you know what you can get here. I'm not even going to bother checking the inventories at the uh, terminals. It's not necessary. By now, you should have everything you need. Let's hit our C2, our camp number two. Right over there. Now we start getting parts at this point. As you know, we've already got the one part, right? The construct the, the construct head. So we need four more parts. We're gonna get at the next four camps. So C2. I have a note here. It's two o'clock from the estimated spot. And you can see there's like a little uh, white dot there that indicates that somebody put like a save point or something there. Not a save point, but they probably put like that, a communication beacon. But as you can see, if you head straight to the rendezvous too, I'm just going to do it. I mean, I could head straight over there, but if you head straight to rendezvous two, and then picture, the, picture this as being 12 o'clock, turn to the right to two, and then head straight. And you should see the campsite right about here. Look at that. Right in front of us. Plenty of radiant shards nearby if you wanted to get it here. This is a hot planet so you can really boost around a lot easier during the storms and stuff like that. 
Okay, got the second pilgrimage. I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and that's going to give us base computer like we really need it. Salvage data, and look at that, a thousand nanites. Okay, so we're in good shape as far as that's concerned. Another upgrade. Go ahead and put it in here. This one gives us core health and strength. Excellent. But see, we got salvage data. We really don't need it, but it is what it is. All right, let's go over here and hit this guy up. So we're going to have a code to put in, just like one of the terminals. Attempt, get out, and go back to the probe damage, and it gives you the numbers. But I already know, and this is just a verification for me, they're supposed to be 8, 14, and 3, 8, 14, 3. Yep, that's correct. So I just confirmed that I'll, that will remain the same. 8. We're going to do 3, and we'll put in... Where did it go? Well, 13, 14, there it is. Dump to memory circuits. Finalize download. And we got our construct. All right. And what we can do here is go to our starship, and we're going to learn that we don't have what we need. We need an extra carbon nanotube. But see, there's the quad servo you needed and a wiring loom that we needed as well. So we're in good shape. We just need to make one more. No, it was right above me too. That's all right. And we'll go ahead and make it. That's our second item. So let's get the reward here. Tells us that that's what we got as a reward and lubricant. See, it requires 400 gamma root, not 600 anymore, and 50 feces instead of 100. We've already got 200, but that's okay. We'll get another 200 on the completion of one of our milestones. And you got hazmat gauntlets in case you just decide you want to go ahead and gather them on your own. The batteries are handy too, just in case you need them. Uh, so there's the hazmat gauntlets. I've never installed them. So I'm going to go ahead and install them for now just to get them into the inventory up here. But we'll uninstall them later. It's weird how my screen was a little glitched out there. I don't know what that was about. But I'm not going to worry about it. Now is our hyperdrive ready? 20%. We should get one more jump out of it. Uh, what's our next reward? Oh, we got the cluster hordes. We got the thousand nanites. Used to be, I think, 4,000 you had to get. All right. And what did we get out of that? We got sub-amplifier. It means we should have a upgrade for our ship. Yes, for our pulse drive. We'll put that up here. That will make it even more um, efficient which is a great thing, so we should be in good shape now. Um, we've got this thing that sells for a million units at wherever we want to sell it at. So, All right, so that's it. We're done here, and as you can see, you got a nice guy running around here that you can take out if you want. But we literally don't have anything more to do here. So we go in here. We're on phase two. You see that these two are blocked out. We don't know what we need to do yet. One of those is visiting the Atlas, but we're not going to worry about that. So we're going to go to Pilgrimage 3. And as you can see, things start to really move along here now. There we go. And off to our hyperdrive. Like I said, we should be able to get one more jump. I'm surprised we haven't hit a... ...battle yet. Because normally we do. Maybe this is my fifth jump? Might be. We'll see what happens. Just over an hour now. Phase two is pretty much complete. We'll get half a phase three complete, half a phase four complete. And then we'll have a talk with uh, Polo and Nada. Well, Nada first and then Polo. And at some point we're going to have a little uh, run through of things we need to do. Ah, here it is. So just boost to the front ship. Just keep going. You can move pretty quick. Slow down, turn around. Go back as if you're landing. And just aim for their blue screen right there and on. No battle. Okay, so we're not at our rendezvous yet, but our hyperdrive needs to be charged, so we're going to use one of the warp hyper cores that we've acquired. Okay, and go back into the galaxy. Now, we now have enough nanites to purchase an upgrade, and I'm going to see if we can't find out where the upgrade will be. All right, let's see. So here's our next spot. We're going to stop at the space station here next. One of them has a hyperdrive upgrade. I don't remember if it was this one or that is at the camp Rendezvous 3 or if it's the one that we just left. I honestly don't remember at this point. 
we will hit the space station. And that should that should be the only battle you run into. I haven't run into any battles since, but I don't know. We're just gonna fly right through this mess. Ah, we got one. We got gold out of it that we don't need. And it's only four, so Oop. gone. Not gonna be worth it to hang on to that. Really gotta sit up better. Okay, here we go. Out of the ship. So let's go over here and check things out. We haven't gotten any upgrades for our suits, right? Wrong. Yes, that's correct. So we'll just get the one upgrade that we can get, which you don't have to do this. And I'm gonna put it over here, I think. Nope, right there. Alright, not worry about suit upgrades. Let's check out the ship upgrades. And he's a talker as well. Photon cannon. Positron. We have no upgrades for the hyperdrive except the C-Class. So they're not worth it. It was probably the last system we were at. Uh, I just want to get rid of that terrifying sampling that's in my inventory. Get a couple of extra nanites from there. Cell. Let's get rid of the Gravitino Ball. I'm going to hang on to the Storm Crystals because I could use those. Uh, don't get rid of those. Uh, Radiant Shards. Terrifying. So there is Floppy Eye. Okay. Okay. Is there anything to buy here? Pyrite. That's the one thing we didn't have. Okay, good. We're in good shape now. And do they happen to have it? No, they don't. Let's check out the other terminal because we still need the... Uh, Magnetic resonator, or whatever it was called. No ships. How weird. They're probably all at the mall. Shopping. Okay. Check here. Hydraulic wiring we've already got. Okay. And they had, you know, they had that here too, the uh, pyrite. Hey. A couple pilots have landed. You know, you could check with the pilots to see if they got the magnetic thing. And he's a talker. Nope, he ain't got it. He got some magnetized ferrite, though. In case we needed it. Thanks, buddy. Check out your other pal over here. Hey there, handsome. What do you got for me? Another talker, huh? These guys must get boring out there, huh? Pyrite. Copper. Uh, nope. Ain't got it. And there ain't nobody else in here, right? Except this guy that just landed. I'll check it out. Yeah, neat little ship. Needle nose. And an explorer class. See, I remembered it. Come on. Okay. Yep, he ain't got it either. Same thing as the other guy. So fighters carry one thing. This guy's probably going to have the same thing as the other guy that was just landed a moment ago. Yep. Carbon nanotubes, really? It's interesting. Paraffinium and pure ferrite. I could use that. I don't really need it, but I know I'm really low on it. I'll grab one more, just in case I need it. Um, okay, so this is a ship that we haven't had land yet. Shuttle. Let's just check to see if his inventory is different. Okay. Chromatic metal. I'm not going to grab it, as tempting as that is. And I'm pretty sure we don't need a quantum computer. You know I'm tempted. I'm going to get it anyway. Okay, we're good. Alright. I think that's it. One more fighter. Just because he's here, we'll go ahead and do this. I know it's a waste, but hey, you know. No, he has some ionized cobalt, though, so that was interesting. You could have grabbed it from him. Alright, let's get out of here. A hauler. Sigh. Yeah, I'll check, because you never know. Maybe he's got something different. They're all talkers today. Nope, he don't. Same old garbage. Okay, let's go. We're done. I'm gonna go to our rendezvous. So this is the Camp 3 rendezvous that we're heading towards right now. Right there. It's in the middle of space. No, I'm kidding. It's basically on a planet behind this one. Or on the far side of it, I don't remember. Yeah, planet uh, or moon beyond it. Planet it is. Now you notice this planet has water. If it takes us to a good area, we might be able to hit water. 
We want to head south from our point. It looks like water is out that way. That's good to note only because you've got frequent storms here. We need crystal sulfides. We need three of them. But we'll have to head the water, hit the water later. You know what? Well, let's head this way and at least get to our base. I was thinking about heading over there now. You look at all the water around here. None of these really have anything in them, so I'm not going to bother. My notes say to go straight ahead on this one. Don't deviate left or right. It's in between those two floating mountains. Uh, floating hills, whatever those things are. Those rocks in the air. Put it that way. There it is. Oh, communication ball farm. Great. There we go. I'm just going to go right over the top of you. Yes. Let's get the achievement. Come on. There it is. I can't get the achievement. This hello from everybody. Alright, so we'll just talk to the autophage. Since we can. So I have my notes say... Uh, 15, 5, and 11. Uh, maybe I need to get the achievement first. Okay, I think I just got the achievement. There it is. I guess we needed that first. Got some upgrades out of it. Okay, let's try it one more time. There it is. Okay, so we're just going to go right into attempt. So 15, uh, what was it again? 15, 5, and 11. So let's do 5, 11, and then 15. See? It worked. Dump. Finalize. Okay. And we'll go in here and collect that. Alright, so you'll see what we needed to do. What's this? Voltaic amplifier? We have an upgrade for our uh, thing here. Let me just see, what is it? A 222. Yeah, we're gonna do that. There, that should be good. And this, we don't really need it. 480 nanites, so it could be worth it. We do have some upgrades that we can use, so I'll go ahead and hang on to them. Now, the thing we need to construct, and I'm going to go over here and show you, is this. We need 210 magnetized ferrite, three crystal sulfides, and two life support gels, which we don't have yet. We can do the life support gels now, because we do have two of those. Let's go ahead and make them real quick. One and two. Put them over here. And the crystal sulfides we'll have to get. I think we have our... Cobalt. We need magnetized ferrite, so we'll go ahead and just do that. We need 210 magnetized ferrite. We don't have nearly enough. 68. Wow, that will be perfect. And exactly 210 as soon as it's ready. Okay, so while that's cooking, if you will, we're going to go find some crystal sulfides. Shall we? So we want to head south. Which way is south? That's north. Yeah. Not really south, I guess. Let's get out before a storm starts. Let's get a little ways away from the planet. Should be good. Come back down and take a look and just aim for an ocean. And hopefully there's no ships in the way when you get there. And there's usually an island or so that you can land on here. Make a liar out of me. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, let's go over here. That little guy right there is perfect for my... What I want to do. Eventually it'll land. There we go. So the only thing I don't like about the solar ships, I do love them otherwise. In every manner. Uh, crystal sulfites. There we go. One plant is all we need. One plant to rule them all. Deepest ocean, huh? One, two, three. And get away from it as quickly as possible before it explodes. There we go. So we got three. So we go back in here, go in here. Let's get rid of you. I am going to put a little bit more pure ferrite in because I just keep getting the feeling that I might need more later. Okay, and now we can build it. 
So I like building it over here. And as you can see, now we have everything we need. Ta-da! And there we go. We've got the body constructed. Um, before we go anywhere, let me just do something real quick. There's the pyrite. I'm going to put it in my ship. Hey, there's the words I always like to hear that tells me I need to get lost. Okay. So. Let's get our achievement. And what do we get? We got another shield. Yay. I'll put it right there. It's amazing how many shields you get. Um, anything else? No? Okay, then we're good. Let's go ahead and get lost. Off we go. So what's next on our agenda? We are an hour and 15 in. And let's take a look at our expedition. So we got one, mostly complete. We still have to commune with the Atlas. Two, mostly. Three, mostly. Four is our next one. We're going to go to the fourth pilgrimage. I don't want to do that. Goodbye. Okay. Now we don't have any hyperdrive, so we're going to have to take this the long way. Now, sooner or later, we'll get the warp hypercore blueprint, and we'll be able to make our own. Which is why I hung on to a couple of those storm crystals, just in case, but we're going to be running low real soon here. So what we're going to do, before we go on to our next step, I'm going to go ahead and hit this particular space station and check it. Because we really need a hyperdrive upgrade. We just need one. You don't need a whole lot. Most of the systems uh, that you're going to be going to, most of the solar systems you're going to, are really not that far away. They're usually within 500 tops from each of the places that you're going to go. And you're going to get to a point where you're not going to need it anymore. And since we have some upgrades, we're going to go ahead and do it, and you're going to see me do it. So this episode, I don't expect it to last longer than two hours. Again, we won't be able to complete the expedition, like we said. So keep that in mind. Was one of those, was that the... No, I don't have that. Okay, so it was for me and the ship. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, I'll put you there. Just get, get you out of the way. And I got four more, I think. Five. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And I'm going to put one up here because that's an upgraded slot up there. Oh, it was on my last one. Interesting. Move everybody over. There we go. Now we get a little more room up there. Let's get the ship upgraded real quick. Just because we can. You don't have to do this. I'm going to put them up here. Actually, I will put one there, there, and there. And then we're going to put one there and there. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little bit better. Let's check our upgrades. Pulse engine, hyperdrive B class, and no A class. I am going to spend a little bit on this one. It's, it's at least better than nothing. Let's see what we'll get out of it. Went to 261, and that gave me 125 light years. It's actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. Okay. Okay. Let's go. So that's all we can get out of there. Maybe one more upgrade would be kind of nice. Now, the other thing that we needed that we keep forgetting about is the magnetic resonator thing. And I know that's probably not the right name, and I see it. It's going to remind me, and I'm going to feel like a fool. That's okay. There it is. It is Resonator. Son of a gun. How many did I say we needed? We just need one. Believe it or not. All that for just one of them. Okay. Anything else in here we need? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we're good. Excellent. So we got it. So check your space stations. You can check ships that land. Occasionally you'll run across people that have it, and you can go ahead and grab it from the NPCs. Interesting looking little ship there, huh? Okay. Alright. Off we go. All right, so that should get us to our next rendezvous point. So this is camp or rendezvous four. For rendezvous four, it is also straight past the... Oh, it tells me to go straight at the estimated or approximate location that I have written here. So that's what we're going to do. 
And we're out. Do we want to stop at the space station? Of course we are, just so you guys know what's there. Oh, that one's actually pretty far enough away. Nope, it tells me it's too close still, even though it is... That looks like it's much further away than I thought. But we're going to hit the space station and just take a look. I don't have any upgrades. I'm not going to worry about the exosuit. I think my exosuit is pretty much right about where I want it. I'm going to be putting stuff in here and probably filling this out up here. And out you go. And we'll go straight to the vendor for the ships. Okay, what do you got? Shields only. No other upgrades, so it wasn't worth coming here. Out we go. So now you know, Rendezvous 4. Not a good space station to go to. All right. Okay, sodium they have on this planet, huh? I seem to recall we needed sodium for some reason. And I don't remember why. Oh. We need it to create an antimatter capsule. So we need probably a good amount of sodium. So if we find a sodium deposit, that'll probably be the easiest thing to do at this point. So we know to get it at Rendezvous 4. So there you go. I remembered. Yay! Brain, brain work once in a while. And we're in. A little cloudy right now. See, it's very mountainous. My my notes say to head straight for it. And if I'm not mistaken, actually, I think, is that it right there? No, it's not. Just head straight as if you're heading to, it's on the other side of the mountain, but you'll notice where this communication blob is. That's why. It's literally right there. We're going to land in the communication ball farm. The con ball farm. Sounds so weird saying that. As long as nothing happens, I should get the achievement. Oh, for crying out loud, people. There are so many com balls. There we go. We gotta wait for that to pop up or else it doesn't work. Okay, now here I have written down 4915. So, 4, and that's really getting annoying, that waving in front of me. 9 and 15. I'm gonna get a seizure soon if it keeps it up. Dump. Finalize. Okay, we're up. All right, so let's get our achievements real quick. So we don't lose anymore, but we don't gain anymore. There we go. And there's the legs. So what do we need for the legs? Let's find out. To get the legs, we needed a lubricant, which requires 400 gamma root. Notice I now have 400. One of those two achievements that we just got, if you'll take a look, gave me, well, watch the top right, Underwater protection, multi-tool expansion, a couple of those. Gamma root times, you heard it, 200. And there you go. So now we can create the lubricant. And to make the legs, what else do we need? Let's find out. We need a magnetic resonator, which we just got, and two hydraulic wirings. Done. See how easy that was. And now our inventory is free of that nonsense. So let's put this down here. We have two water protection modules, but you already know we don't need them, so we can save them for selling later if we wish. Excellent. Moving on. And now that I have room over here, I can move everything over. And I'm going to grab the magnetized ferrite out of there, just in case we need it. Again, we need sodium. So let's just take a quick look. Uh, look, look. Quick look around copper when I don't need it for once. What's that? Paraffinium. Copper. Can't believe how much copper I'm finding. Paraffinium. 
sodium right there. And it said the, the, the storm was over, I think, right? Yes. Oh, animal. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so where is this place? Up there, huh? All right, let's take the ship. We're going to take a, just a jaunt up there because we need sodium, and I don't want to mess this up. If you grab sodium plants on the original planet you were on, you were lucky. I did not do that. Uh, actually, it looks like it's there. Landing site not clear. Um, where can I land? Up here? No? Not here? I'll just run into trees. It's open to land right there. Ooh, got it. Aha! Alright. There we go. I'm just going to stay in the medium setting. I don't need anything big here. We don't need a whole lot. That was really, really weird. Alright, I think we got a good amount. How much did we get? 138. Excellent. Let's take... Three. There we go. And that should get us enough sodium nitrate that we can create a few warp cells uh, just in case we need them. And we need one antimatter housing for one of the builds. There we go. All right, excellent. Can I make the antimatter housing now? Interesting. I thought it took that, but that's okay. And I'm going to make... Let's let's keep one here just to play it safe. But I swear I needed it for something else. Well, hang on to it for now. I think I need it for something else. Hey, look, sodium. Isn't that stupid? I'll take it. Hey, why not? Got it. Okay. Just a little extra. All right, so what do we need to do here? We're going to collect that. Which we get things we don't need. And we need... See that? It's it's out of there. It's out of there. That's there. Those two aren't. So what we can do... We can do this if we want. But my suggestion would be to go ahead and do, do these two. Get them done real quick. So let's go to Pilgrimage 5. And head out. What an easier planet to get this done on, wasn't it? Hyperdrive's fine. Alright. Go to our next spot. There. And rather than check out the space station here, I'm just going to go on to number 5, because we're at the point where we don't need an hyperdrive upgrade anymore. Any time now. Oh, another another battle. We'll just do the same thing. Very odd. Probably because I had a hyperdrive upgrade last time. I think we can get to it from the side. Boink. Gone. Okay. I'm just going to go straight on to the rendezvous. And there it is. Again, not, no crazy distances we're traveling in this one. It's usually one, possibly two jumps in between. But that's it. And we're about an hour and a half in, and here we are hitting Rendezvous 5. So, basically, if you can remember some of the space stations, you can jump back and forth to any one of these places. If you know where you're, if you've stopped at the space stations on the way. And you know which one's which. Alright, there we go. Again, turn around, hit the space station real quick. That planet is really far away, and I don't want to have to jet all the way back to the space station. And boink. There we go. All right.
right, and we're coming in. I'm just going to check it out here real quick, just so you know what's here and what isn't. I want to get rid of some of that stuff in my inventory anyway, which is the upgrades. You know, I was just thinking, I already said I'm, I don't really need any upgrades, but ah, we're here. Let's get it over with. I don't have any augmentations here. It must be for my multi-tool. Okay. And... Yep, that was the supercharged slot. Two. I'm going to put it over here. There we go. Just for grins and giggles, because he's standing here. Oh, that was weird. I hit my space bar by accident. Nothing that we can use. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to put that there. And that there. Alright. So you can see we have that now. Um, this is what I would normally do. There we go. All set. So we got everything we need in there. We can put these in if we want. Not needed. In the starship, we got everything we need as well. We're done here. Let's move on, shall we, folks? On to our rendezvous. Should be all the way over there. Couldn't get any further away. 2,000 units away. Unbelievable. Let's kill us something. Kill us base bucks? I don't know. No clue. So, what do I have for rendezvous five? Let's see. To cross the water straight ahead. That's all it says. So we got water nearby, so at least you have that much if you needed anything. And 15, 4, and 10. And if you want to, this is always a good time to check your milestones and see if there's any you needed to accept. So right after this, we're going to be hitting the Anomaly. And then we're going to hit the Atlases. Well, we only have to hit one, and I'll show you a trick on that. Because you're probably going to hit the Atlas every single time. If you go through each phase, Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, and do the Atlas on every single phase you're going to find that it gets very long and redundant. Cross the water straight ahead. It's not really straight ahead. It's actually over there to the right a little bit. So you see these communication beacons? Yeah. You know there's another communication farm here. It's right on the other side of this rise. Right. Here. Here? It's not here. Oh, those jerks. Was I right? Was it just across the water? All right. I'm probably flying right past this, and you're laughing at me, but... Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. That's right. It's tucked behind this hill here. There we go. Right there. I'm going to park to one side, of course. I don't like landing amongst the comball farms. Drop. Thank you. Okay. Let's wait to get our achievement. Come on. We're here. Hello. Hello. We're here. Yeah, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we said 15, 4, and 10. We just got to wait for it to pop up. I'm not sure why there's a delay. Reselect it. There it goes. And I'm just going to go ahead and get the reward. Uh, upgrades and more nanites. Okay. Okay, we're going to attempt a to memory repair, so... As we said, 4, 10, 15. So 4, 10, and 15. And by the way, the multi-tool at this particular location is also an A-class if you're going to be using this save as something else later on. And there's our reactor. See, there's our ionized cobalt. We need 75. This is the reason why you held on to that crystallized heart and why you needed an antimatter housing. Okay. So let's just go ahead and build it real quick. There it is. Lanted reactor is built. How are we doing on the hyperdrive? We're out. We're going to go ahead and drop this in. 
We may not need to do anything else, but we'll see sooner or later. All right, how are we doing over here? That's a little low. Let's go ahead and charge up. Anything in here? We're not doing anything good. All right, then we're all set. That to complete those two tasks. Let's go in here and collect. Okay. And you'll notice that we didn't get an achievement over here for creating it. So what are we going to do? You'll notice that everything's blocked out now. The only thing left is this, not as lead. But let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to get a built-in timer at one point that's about 11 minutes long. We'll go ahead and do the atlas while we're doing, while we're waiting on the timer to expire. There's our anomaly. And in we go. 135. And I'm pretty sure that that's not going to be game time. Game time, we're probably looking at about hour 20. So the bottom line is you can complete this easily within two hours if you gather up all the materials you need in advance. If you know what you need on the first planet and you can get things easily along the way. Otherwise, you're going to be hop, skipping, and jumping all over each system very, very far away. You'll notice that there is also an anomaly mission. If you've seen that earlier today, then you know that that's taken place. Okay, good. Here we go. And we're going to talk to Nada. Okay, I'm not going to read anything. You guys can read it on your own to get more of the storyline. Okay. And he tells us to go to a monolith. Now, on the original run-through of this back last June, the monolith was a different system on a different planet. You'd have to go and hyperdrive there. In this one, it is right in the system you're at. Matter of fact, it's on the same planet you just came from. Right there. In front of you. See? Piece of cake. So don't bother going through the portal and going anywhere. Just go back to the planet real quick and do the ritual. Get it out of the way. And you see it's right next door. You don't have to go far. Eventually we'll land. And you don't go up there yet. Go to this purple thing over here. This takes Atlantidium, so hopefully you've gathered, gathered enough. And if you want, you can get a tool out of this. It's kind of nice. Okay, and you see, it's a C-class, but it's a decent-looking tool. And I'm telling you, this runic lens is the bomb. It really, uh, once you get that thing powered up and you add things to it, whoosh, you want to talk about taking out some sentinels with it. It's just a mining laser, for crying out loud. So just go through this. You can read the storyline. talks about her, which is the Void Mother. And it makes us all wonder about... Light no fire. But we'll get there another time. So we're done with that. we got to go back. Grand Divergence is complete. So if we go in here, you'll see that that's done. We do have one more... And that is complete the schematic. So let's go ahead and get back out of here. Pull in the anomaly. One more time. We could have just jetted over to it. We know it was nearby, but it's easier to do it this way. And we now have in our inventory, if you'll look, not in our ship, a Echo Seed. Those are important to get our be able to complete our uh, entire uh, expedition that we have here. So the more of those you can get, the better. If you could play on your own inside here, it'll work out here. Alright, let me get up here. We'll talk to Nada. Boink. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, and tells us to go over to Polo. So we go to Polo. And he tells us what we need to do. Okay, and he's going to work on it. And if you look at the bottom right, it gives us an 11 minute timer. What do we do with those wonderful 11 minutes? Um, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to go through the portal. I should have went running through it. I should have ran around the edge because I don't think my jetpack is upgraded enough to get where I need to go. We're going to take this and we're going to go back to the beginning. So we're going to go to space stations, not space anomaly, space stations. This is the current system. This is the system where we started. Okay. And probably this is the next system right after that. So let's go ahead and go to this one. Now you notice I didn't talk to Polo again. I could have gotten Atlas systems from him, but I didn't. It's not necessary because we just need to choose it from our mission log. Or one of our milestones. And here we are. Remember this place, right? Had the Traveler in it? So, let's go down here. Once we get that cleared out. We're going to go back to Phase 1. We're going to choose Commune with the Atlas. And it just says, present the construct out to the Atlas interface, locate the Atlas. So you don't have to talk to Polo about finding an Atlas interface again. So here we go. Galaxy map. And you'll notice it's taking us to the Atlas over there. Now, unfortunately, I don't have jump drive available to get me there in one jump. So it looks like I'm going to have to make three. So probably it was closer to the other one. Yeah, does make a difference. They're right next to each other. We may have to get our way out of another battle, but we'll go ahead and just take the multiple jumps just to get there so you can see what happens. Hopefully my hyperdrive has enough juice in it. We're going to check that in a minute. We won't have to jump anywhere else once we get here. Let's just check. What do we got? 80%? Yeah, we're all right. One more. Okay. Let's go to that one. Any time now. Okay. One more time. And this should be our Atlas jump. Now again, it gave us 11 minutes. That's 11 minutes real time, not game time. So these hyperspaces that aren't counting towards our game time, the clock for Polo is still going. There we go. Now, hopefully this is a dissident system, but we'll find out in a moment. And in we go. And what we can do is go in here, look at discoveries, and you can check the planets sometimes. This one's verdant. I don't know if any of those are dissident. Dissonant? So we may have to leave here and go to a dissonant system after this. We'll see what happens. Okay. Really slow glide in here. Normally, if I had a timer going, we could tell how much time it would be. And you know what we do get out of here? We'll get a, we'll get a pair of uh, warp hyper cores. Well, warp cores. Warp, warp fuel? We'll get some warp fuel. Two of them. So that'll get us a few more warps. Just remember to grab them from the two pedestals over here. There we go. All right. So this is what I mean about doing the Atlas missions. Present the construct. Build. Tell his blah and leave. Okay. But guess what? Stay here. Select it again. Now you're doing the second visit from the second phase. And you can read everything on your own when you do this on your own. So that's two done. And yep, we're going to keep going. Three. And. Four. And. 
last one. And what we have to do is we have to create seeds after this, which we'll need items for. But we'll go see how much we need and how much we already have. We should have enough to create everything we need if we don't already have it in our inventory. Okay, let's go ahead and exit. All right, so let's see what we got. Rare one complete. Need the seeds. There's our warp hypercore. There. For some reason I can't select it. Probably I need to cr create the seed first. So let's do seed of hope is what we need to make. We need seed of life first. So we're going to do dreams. Then we're going to do power. See, we, got, we have pure ferrite. We need seed of will, which needed ionized cobalt. Glad we got that. Then seed of life to get the seed of hope. And that's what you do. We're done. So let's see what we got. So you notice that they all have new rewards now. So let's just take a quick look. 190,000 gold nuggets and a supreme hyperdrive upgrade if you needed it. Two. We got this one done. See the power revelation, the warp hypercore types three. You also get neutron cannons, so if you have to do your battles next, we've already done that. We don't have to worry about it. See, number phase three is also complete. You notice it says complete up here. Storm crystals, warp hypercores, activated indium, four, complete. Uh, that was phase three, it was complete. That's weird. I think that's a glitch there. It's not complete because we have to complete the schematic. So we're working on that next. We've got to go back to Polo. And then finally, we have to ignite the convergence. Okay, but we'll get to that and I'll show you what's going on with that. Let's pull in the anomaly right in front of the atlas. Yes, I know. That's kind of creepy. And we'll head in. You notice that the timer on the right says 3 minutes 37 seconds. So yes, folks, unfortunately, we got to wait 3 minutes. Now, normally what would have happened is I would have had my warp drive already, my hyperdrive already upgraded. I could have gotten there real quick, got through all five of these, then gone to a planet and battled it out royale style with the sentinels. But I don't need to do that now. So one thing you can also do is you're going to get your upgrades here. We're going to get posters. We can get, in phase two, uh, Crimson Freighter Trail as well as a dis discordant trail customization. Okay. Let's go back in here. Number three, your main one over here is crystallized drone plans, which is like something that you'd have on the... Uh, it's basically a buildable base ornament that you can put into your bases. And we go to four. We'll get a different one for that. We'll get the Wayfarer's Home for that one. And five, we get uh, decals and banners. And in the final phase, we get the Construct Customization Set, which is basically a uh, facade to put on your person. So you get customizations that you can put in there. So pretty cool stuff that you can get. All right. Two minutes. And the one thing that we're waiting on, I don't think you'll see it in here. Let me just check. No, it's not here. The one thing that we're waiting on is the... Let me just get to the... Is it in here? this the ignite a convergence so if we go to our log and we check that out this is what we're waiting on we're in tier one it's already been completed we're part way through tier two we need to get to tier three four and five we've got to get along here and to do that we have to collect echoes on the planets and we'll show you what that's all about here in just a few minutes See, it says install the resonance amplifier. We don't have it yet, so we'll get that in a minute. Let's go back to our expedition, to four, to this one, completing the schematic. We have a minute and a half to go. Okay, so we're, we're cruising right along here. We're getting where we need to go. Just another minute. And 
any time now. Any second now. I know, a bit silent. It's because I keep getting messages. See, we could have asked about the Atlas station. Up, oh, 16 seconds, 15, there we go. 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1. Now, see? Got to get the timing right. Leave. All right, so now we got to go there. Over there. We're going to go visit the construct. And talk to him. I'm not going to get all these other uh, expedition rewards. I'm going to hold off on them. See? Idle. We added in a seed. And it turns him on. Watch. But he's lost, and he doesn't know what in the world is going on. Going, going on. I can't even talk anymore, too. Apparently, I'm lost as well. And we're at an hour and 50 minutes in doing this. And as you can see, we're just about completed. It's almost done. It really, really is. We just got to talk to Nada. And he's going to tell us a bunch of stuff and that we don't really care about. And that's because he doesn't know Nada. Or she. I don't know. And Polo. Now... He's going to give us our new technology to install here. And that's what it is. So we need three Gravitino balls. Let's go ahead and put the dihydrogen in and the radiant shard. The Gravitino balls we get from a one of our milestones. Let me just check this real quick. Portal glyph. See to hope sort of glitches. Was it over here? Gravitino ball. So you get that from prayer four. Okay. And there it is. Now you don't have to go collect them. And you get three more wipe, war, war pipers. And now we can go into our multi-tool and add them in. Boom. Done. And that's all completed. So we're all set. All right. Now, basically, if you look through here one more time, we got one done, right? Two, three, four is all the way through here to come with. We have to locate another echo is the only thing we really need to do. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that done. And we'll locate another echo. Let's get to our ship. Now. I don't know if this system has dissonant worlds in it. We do know of a system that does. So why don't we get out of here and go to our last space station we were at. Not the last one. Well, actually, we didn't stop at this one, did we? Aha. Should say the last one we were at should be at our fifth de destination. Should be this one right here, if I remember correctly. Or this one. This one here. I'm sorry. No, that was the one that we went to just last, so it's this one. Gosh, I hope I'm right. Let's find out, right? I'm taking a chance here. Taking a chance. Because we know there's a dissonant world there. There it is. So we're going to pies. These pies? These pies, po pum. Whatever. Let's move on. And we'll pull in the anomaly when we're done with it. And I'll show you what goes on with this. So we're just about at the end of this, folks. Appreciate you watching. Uh, is it over there? Nope. Is it over the other way? Let's spin around. There. How about there? There it is. Yep, I know. I'm working on it. There we go. Not terribly far away. And really, any of the distance systems you could, you uh, you have could easily have taken care of this. So 
So as soon as we arrive, and I'll show you what the what the multi-tool will do with the resonant amplifier in there. It's going to help us discover special types of shards on the ground. And they will give us echo seeds. Echoes of souls, if you will. All right. Is it a storm going on right now? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go just a little bit further here. Yeah, that should do. Anything? Yeah, well, why not? Let's check out the building. Maybe it's someplace we can land. Nope, it's not, but that's okay. Eventually land. There we go. So what you do is when you're looking through here, it's actually pointing at one right now, but I'm going to have you look. See, those are radiant shards. You're looking for ones that look like broken ones. These are sentience echoes is what they're called. If you continue looking, usually there's more than one floating around. Like I've got one over here at 363... Let's head to that one. It's a little closer. All right. Part of the way there. Okay. Make sure I got my... Ooh, look at that. Crop waiting to be harvested. There we go. And you notice that there's nothing there, right? But usually what you'll find is you'll find those little guys right next to it. Just hit your scanner. And guess what you got? Sentience Echoes. Go ahead and harvest these. Four Echo Seeds. Two. Three. Four. We got four of them here. That is fantastic. Gather as many as you can. Honestly. This is what helps the community get where it needs to go get that uh, one last achievement that we can possibly get I can always pull in the ship so I'm gonna grab one more and you'll notice that this is one of those autophages I just grab that as I go you never know when you might need more A really weird looking creature. Now why didn't I see this when I was coming in? Okay. There's three of them there. Alright, so you notice there's nothing near this one. Let's see what we got. We just got two of them here, huh? We'll grab both. Excellent. All right. Now, there may be some more floating around here, but I think we've got enough seeds for now. Probably out this way. Yeah, there's one right there. 511. All right. But let's go ahead and take it out of here. We can wrap up this episode. And... We're out of here. Let's pull in the... Oh. Talk to it. If you probe it, it's going to give you something. It's going to give you an Echo Seed. So we got another Echo Seed. That's good. We don't need any more. We've got too many of them as it is. You can shoot those as well and you'll get some Atlantidium at them. It's no, not really necessary. Alright. So now we got to talk to Priest Entity Nada. This will complete out this milestone and pretty much complete out everything. It always lands me at the furthest possible spot away from everything. As I've said before, and I said it, say it again, one 
Park me outside if you want to park me that far away. I'll just walk in for Pete's sake. And two, Sean Murray will pay extra money if you will let us get a premier parking spot inside every time. Okay. Sacred place. Prime terminal. Okay. So we need to take it to the back. You'll remember this from the Artemis storyline. And we get to put it in here. So I'm going to show you something here before we put them in there. So. Oh good, I got enough front juice. So these are what the Echo Seeds look like, right? This is what they look like. Put them on my ship. Okay? Okay. Right enabled. 22% threshold. We want to get that up to 100%. This is game-wide throughout the universe, okay? Prepare to upload. And you just keep going. Now my suggestion is, hang on to one or two of these. I'm going to put five in. And then you want to take one out. Echo Collective is what you just got. Okay? And you got Lost Souls has been completed. So you look here. Uh, that would be... Four. Lost Souls is now complete. You get a, a Supreme Scanning System upgrade. An emergency scanner so you can find... Uh, things but here's the thing this is the next one you can't do any of these including the optional ones until this one's complete and you can't do this one until we mentioned it before go back to the log until this gets to a higher threshold hopefully it gets complete so once we get past that a certain point we'll be able to complete the rest of the missions here whoa hey that was a little jumpy so hang on to those extra couple ones and you'll be able to give them because you'll be giving it to the construct over there and then you'll have to choose between the Atlantid reactor or a, a collective soul to put into it to make it alive. And depending upon which one you get depends upon the reward you get at the very end. So yes, you'll want to do this twice. That's right, I said twice. There's nothing more to do here. We are done with this. So, this ends the episode, basically. We'll come back at another time and complete it. And I'll do, like, maybe a little short 10-minute, hey, here's how it completed out, type thing. And we'll go from there. In the meantime, I'm just going to go to my ship to get a save point. And exit. And want to thank you all for watching. Again, if you have any questions, comments, anything at all, throw them into the comment section down below the video. I always try to respond to everybody's comments. All the time. No exceptions. So if you have, even if it's a criticism, just be kind in how you word it. Even if you want to criticize how I was playing the game or something like that, by all means, throw it in there. I'm still learning. 2,500 hours, four years later, I still learn new things from people. So by all means, if you see something that says, hey, this is a better way to do it. Little idea you might want to try. Great. Throw it at me. Appreciate it. If you have ideas that you want to see in a video, please throw it at me. Throw it in the comment section. Let me know. Love that kind of commentary back and forth from everybody. So really appreciate it. We'll possibly have another video or two coming out over the weekend. I've got an idea that I might be playing a different game over the weekend, and we'll see how things go. So I want to thank you all again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Please hit the like and subscribe, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.